Right, as you saw, I have done that one. Oh, it's not even, I mean, done that one, um, and I said I might have time. I'm going to gamble. So I've got this tuck box here that I took um, everything out about 20 minutes ago. This was just an easy one. Jupiter is well easy, so I had to rip the bottom and stuff like that out. I've got this now. So I'm thinking about doing a new one here uh, because the other back cave has been shown about three times. I'd like to show everyone as a different thing. Again, please don't crucify me. I could probably spend another four or five more hours on this one rather than start this one. But you're paying two pounds to get into my vein and I would like the tables at least filled. Um, and then if anyone comes along that can do anything better, then I'll have them. Right, that's off. Um, so as it's Batman, anything's going to be black. So I'm thinking of spraying this um, background with the black spray paint. Um, I'm not going to be too fussed how it oversprays and stuff because it, it needs to look very dark and dingy. Um, I'm thinking of doing it that way. Um, I don't think there's anything else. So I'm going to mask tape it all off, give it a quick spray inside and hope it look all right. Because um, I'm really against the clock on this, which people just said, why are you doing it when it's against the clock? Because I just want to try it. Um, and it's something different, and it's something for the people that comes around to my event. So I'm going to do that now, um, and hopefully it look all right. Right, I've done the quick spray there. I, I made sure, I, if you wonder why I've done that, I like the overlook so it looks like it's burnt. I'm going to just try and make it a little bit more rustic. So I'm spraying that, waiting for it to come down. Now I've got this over here. So I'm deciding whether to put a whole plate on there, cut this one to go underneath there, um, and then probably put something like this on top, so it would spin. Um, that's probably the best way, rather than make it bigger over the top. Um, so I think I'm probably going to cut this, I think we have about one stud, two, three studs, too long there. And then these are all base plates. Uh, it's not too bad, but they're seeing better days. So I'm probably going to cut these ones and make the base, glue the base on there, and then put another one. So you've got the round bit there. Um, as I said, this is going to be a five, maybe six hour build. So I've got to have to be really quick with this. So glued and cut down there. Cut this down. Cut a little V-shape, put it in there. Always, when you're gluing, make sure you put two or three um, studs because the gappage. You're always being caught out when you put it too close together and they don't click together if you want to try and go over two boards. So I'm putting this on there. Uh, as I said, I haven't got long. Probably the actual patch. By the time this comes out, um, the vent's probably on already. But um, I'm going to cut this so it goes on there. And that's my base there. Um, and then hopefully I can blitz this and get some sort of display in there to look good and worthy enough to pay £2 to go and see I don't know, 10 or 11 displays and buy cheap Lego. Who knows, we'll see. As I'm doing Batman, I think I'm going to use this, which you saw me buy from the car boot sale, this dusty thing. So I'm going to use this uh, for the Batcave as the car. Save me a bit building one because I haven't got the time. Obviously, I've got to fix this bit, bit up. Or maybe even leave it like it is. And you maybe have a like Alfred fixing or something like that. And like this one, um, I don't really think I've got all the bits of it. No, I don't. So, um, I can either make it up, which I probably have got the stuff to make it up, or I might keep it as it and look like Alfred or someone is working on it to fix it up, like a mechanic, make it a little bit of fun. So this is going to be the car I'm going to use to clean it off, because it's absolutely filthy. A little picture from the car boots out, why the glue out the back and the spray paint is drying. Right, I've cut the leads off the back for the lot, while I can actually reattach the layer. Um, we've got that spinning. Not great, but we've got it spinning. Um, it's all glued down, so now it's trying to incorporate this, which I've had a bit of a clean up. That will go on this. I think, yeah, it just fits. So that will go on there like so. I'm going to attach that and then obviously make some sort of display, which I have no idea I'm going to do. Maybe some water here and incorporate, make that look like it's a. Uh, I don't know. I have no idea. This is going to be completely made up from my head. The back cave always changes, so you don't really have to stick to any type of plan, but I don't know. Um, probably going to put a little bit of water here and waterfall. I don't know, but we'll see. I've decided with the time I've got, I might have enough time to do this. So I'm going to put some water around this little section using these blues. So um, let's see what happens. I think that's good enough. It's a quick one to show the water. Not great. It's just patterned. 
So um, I've got some sort of like outline for the cave. Joy of speed building. Um, you haven't got time to sit there and plan it out. Um, I've got no plans. Don't know what I'm doing. Um, maybe make it on a platform so it's raised up so I can bring the rocks up possibly. That may be an idea. Um, so I might be doing that. Not sure, but that's what I'm thinking. Why I can't think of anything at the moment, I'm going to get some grey slate and make some rocks to go up the top there and try and make it a little bit more interesting. There we go, that's the rough edging off the rocks I've just quickly done. I might just only have it one level, because you can't have it too high because the actual box isn't that high. Um, so I might bring it up a level and then have this as a black hole underneath or something like that. I might have to change the colour of that, but we'll see. So what I'm going to do is probably get some of these, put them across, just to build it up uh, and make a good level on this. Two minutes later, it's not taken too long to get this at the moment, uh, the way I want it, just put some of the long ones and the small ones in there. I'm going to finish it all the way up to the back there, because of the frame. And I think I'm putting some black shinies on there to make it look like it's uh, a hole. And that's sort of the shape I want to look at. I don't know what I'm going to do, I'm just making it up as I go along. Um, I haven't filmed it because I'm going to get so many comments about I'm doing this wrong and why am I doing it like that and I, do you know what this is just a quick little video to show you what I can do in six hours or what can be done in six hours um, and for an event so um, you know one day I will sit down and show you um, how I build when I have a few weeks or a few days to build rather than six hours but let's see what I can do and I thought I'd record a few bits because people will say it wouldn't take Oh, I'm, I'm lying about how long it's going to take me, but I don't think it'll take me that long to do the whole lot of this. We're basically, uh, what was it? Uh, one and a half hours in, so that's not too bad. So hopefully get all this done at the moment at the back. Once I've got that at the back, I might put a, like a back symbol there, this section here. Um, it moves quicker when I don't record, you see, that's why I haven't recorded anything. So how you've got this is not for video content purposes, this is actually for my display. There, my friends, is not Lego. Don't know where that came from. Right, then go out there. So we get this done like that. Nice and quick. The thing is, I prefer doing my own builds, but I prefer, well, I've actually got more than a few hours, but I love the pressure. I haven't built for years. I only build when there's an event coming up. Um, I don't really build Lego much or display, do anything for display-wise at all until it's a season for um, my Lego events. I think that'll go there. there. I'll spin onto it. Um, I might put a couple here, just to make it look like, like that, put something, I may put another four in the middle, saves time, there we go, and then I put a two there, there we go, I don't know actually, I'll take that off, that's better, right, that's what I'm going for there, so now I need some, these, get some grey, uh, threes across there, and some one, the twos, and some fours. Right, okay, now we are at a stage doing designing it. Um, I think the next bit, because I know what I want, I'm not too certain with this bit, I'm going to put like a, a bat symbol here on the floor, I think. So that's the next bit. So, my rough guess is 28 and 12, 28 across and 12 down. So we've got 2, 4, 6, 8. 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28. So that should be 28 across. So check again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Yes! So that's the length of it. And it'll be 12 down. So uh, I'll see you in a little bit when I've designed how I'm going to do it, um, and get the shape. Right, so I've decided to do the double plates first, because I think it'll be easier. But that's the problem. I, ha I don't build, as I said, don't build often. 
I'll build probably only for my vents. Uh, I don't do it for leisure or pleasure at the moment. So um, I forget how to do things and I do different things in different ways. But um, I'm sort of making up as I go along. So that's going to be the bat signal or symbol around here, I think. I hope we haven't gone too low to there, but I don't want to be too high because this is going to be rocks as well. So we'll see. So this is what I've, I had to rush out. So absolutely pour down with rain. Um, and I had the uh, box out there drying from the spray paint. So that's got a little bit wet. Um, I'm going to go like that. So this is roughly the shape of what I'm going to be doing for the Batman signal on the bottom of um, the back cave floor. Uh, there's the sixes, the six there, shorts of three in the middle, uh, two fours, I could get a four but I'll probably use these easier, keep the lines going, and then two little beaky one by ones at the top, uh, and I should be it, I think so, let me just get some more. So there we go, um, get some one by one tops, and that's the back signal, or the back symbol at the bottom, done. Not too bad, quick 10 minutes, I think that looks perfect. What do you think? Right, now then, um, I've done that, so now I'm going to probably put edging around the outside of this, um, and maybe do something with probably put the black shinies actually next right yeah so I'll put some black shinies at the bottom here to make it look like a black hole underneath it for Batman to drive his car onto I think that might be looking better to that way so I'll be back in a minute once I've done that okay um, I've had to cheat a little bit because the metal plate under here um, touched on everything every time I spun around it wouldn't move so I have had to spray the black bottom normally I'll take the whole lot off uh, and use a black plate but I haven't got time as you know I keep saying about it but I haven't got time so I've done it that way um, put these on top so now we've got a, a spinning platform here and I've sprayed over sprayed on that one actually that can come off I'll put a new one on there um, that was bad spraying so yeah um, that's what I've got so far hopefully it doesn't look too bad if it does I do apologize it's one of those things you just have to get on with it and make it as much as you can. Um, right, so next is... What's next? I'm probably going to have to do some sort of... Um, I'll take it that way. It doesn't look brilliant that way, but... I'll have to do some sort of... What do I have to do? I'm going to have to try and make some sort of bridge or something across here. Um, not really certain how I'm going to do that. Um, and then I've got to probably make a bat boat. The, the car should be alright to go on there. There we go. So then the kids will be able to spin that around and he'll be able to get out. So that's what we've got going on. Um, put some railings on the side of here, I guess. Um, yeah, maybe just have a little bit of a black road, I think. Or top, earthy road. I don't know. Some, some maybe Yeah, maybe black with the, with the beige, with the tan to make it look like it's got dirty wheels. Something like that across there. Underneath a waterfall, maybe. Right, so that's what we've got going on um the question is black or yellow uh, i think i'm gonna go for yellow even though black would make more sense but because it's batman black and yellow and it's going to be very dark scene otherwise i might use the yellow um uh, let's see what it looks like against the car you see um, Uh, a pair to the black. I'm going for yellow. That's it. Sod it. Going for yellow. Uh, tell me in your co mention in the comments what you would do. Would you use black or would you use yellow? Um, I just don't want it to be too dark. I want it to be something nice to look at for the kids as well. So there we go. That's coming in. Uh, and that'll be there. And you better spin it round like that. And then off he goes. I think. That's good. I actually just quickly replaced the back bit there as well. Um, hopefully, it'll look good.
Um, and now I'm just going to have to do like some sort of waterfall here to cover out the in entrance and exit. But there we go. Right, let's try and uh, do the background now. Make something about a bit better around this area. Um, that's an idea what I'm having is like a waterfall where they drive through, rocks going up there, and then the cave here. So that's just I'm planning it out now of that. So what I'm going to do now, I'm not going to do the waterfall because I have to do the waterfall once I've got to a certain level. Uh, I'm going to now build a sort of back cave around there, around this section here. This is what I've got to so far. Um, what are we up to on the timer? Uh, two and a half hours so far I've done on this. Hopefully, I'll have to uh, get a rig along. I'm going to be putting some stuff around here, make it into that. So I'm going to have to get a move on if I want to get it done in six hours. Right, what am I doing now is um, I'm going to try and put some lights in. Um, There's <sighs> an old-fashioned method I've been using for the last ten years. It's uh, these... Um, and they just plonk in like so, and then they just sit in there. So it's a very crude, rudimentary way, and I'll just put these to a 9-volt uh, battery uh, with a switch on it. <clears throat> but um, it's a very old-fashioned, probably, way of doing it, um, but it's such a quick way of doing it for my video and for my build, because I've only got what, about three hours left. So um, it's just just give some lights to the... Um, sort of dressing room area um i've just measured so um 30 centimeters is the height some of the actual box when it's inside so i'm gonna try and build this up i don't want being too low so you can't see what's happening underneath there obviously you, you want it so you can be displayed nicely i've just put the, the leads in it's gonna green green stuff what have we got left uh three hours and 10 minutes left so it's gonna take me 20 minutes to do that little bit there um, so I'm going to probably bring it up one more level and then put a little bit of a broken platform and then I'll have these computers and stuff up there. That is the plan. Yeah, I don't really want to go more than 30 centimetres, just checking in the box. So I'm just going to put another level up here and then I'm going to move it out a little bit here. So you've got like a broken flooring computer there and then something like going on there. The problem doing it this way is uh, you're using a load of these up, but I have got quite a few anyway, so it makes no difference um, for me at the moment. The good thing about having your own pick a brick wall means uh, you've got the bits, as you see, mine's quite an extensive one. And the other thing that if I don't have it, because I've got no plan on making up as I go along at the top of my head, um, which becomes a problem when you have to backtrack and take things apart because you've missed something or you wanted to put something in. Um, just showing you that uh, it's still running, what was it, th three hours and seven minutes left. Um, so we can start the second mezzanine soon, across the top here. And then um, get a little platform, but I'll do it broken, so it's like that, so it doesn't take up all this. That's why I've done it so high, you don't really need to do it high, because figures only be that way. But I want be able to, people be able to see through, um, rather than um, having to get right down and have a look in there, because you're going to miss some of the detail. Right, let's carry on. Right, I've done the next floor, so what I'm going to do now, I'll make it a double layer, and I'll use stuff like this to make it a little bit more interesting and rock type that I've been cut away for it. Um, use as many slopes and bits and pieces to give that effect. We're getting there. Uh, what is the time on the clock? It is... Uh, I'll move it up so you can see. It is... Two hours and 34 minutes left. So I've done the bottom level, going up to the top level now. Um, yes, my building techniques are probably nowhere near anyone else's and they'll turn me off and all this, but uh, this is a six hour challenge, build challenge for me to get this done um, for my Lego event. So um, I haven't really got time to spend four hours thinking about it. There's n as you see, there's no plans, there's no drawings. I'm just getting stuck in, building off the top of my head. Um, hopefully, I have not cocked up. Um, I don't really know what I'm doing yet. I'm just making it up as I go along. Um, this is probably going to be some cute pieces here. I don't know what we're going to put there, but I have noticed that if I don't put the right, um, put extra bits out, I do come a cropper later on. Um, so, yeah, 
there we go. We'll go from there. We'll put some computers in there. Then we're going to put some rock places at the top. Um, unless I don't want to do rock. Unless it could be like... A, could have had that as a top part of the... Manor. But we don't know. I'll have to see. I um, thought about it. But we'll see what happens in the next 20 minutes. I could be back in a minute. Just carrying on putting the waterfall up. This is going to take the most time. What have I got left on my clock? So I look. Ooh. Two hours and 11 minutes. I don't even see that very well. There we go. There we go. Two hours, 11 minutes. Um, right. Better keep going on. Hopefully. This should take... I'm hoping this will take about 20 minutes to do this bit. And then... Um, not even dropping stuff. And then hopefully I can make that across there, there, and then just put the details in for that. I should have two hours worth of work left. Um, we have to see. Uh, I'll be back in a minute. Um, once I've hopefully finished doing this. Uh, that's almost done. Um, let's have a look how long it's taken me. Uh, I don't know how long time I showed you last, but I've got an hour and 36 minutes left. Uh, I've got a little bit there to do, move the camera up, a little bit there to do, and then around here, I don't know if I can put a top on it or not yet, but, right, let's chat, more work. Um, I think I've measured it, it's, it's got to be 30 centimetres, no longer bigger than 30 centimetres, so I think I can't put anything on top, I was going to do like a scene of, uh, like the other ones I've done, a, like a bit of a Ma Wayne Manor or something like that at the top. But um, we're governed for size on this. So I'm going to literally just do a little bit of stuff on the top to finish it off. Do a little bit of the edging like that and then I'll put some detail in. Uh, and we are still ahead of schedule. We are hour and 29 minutes away. Wish me luck. Right, 11 minutes and 28 seconds left. I'm almost finished. I'm going to put it back away. I've got 11 minutes to finish this. Hopefully I can do it. Right. Eight minutes and seven seconds left. And I'm done. Completely done. Right. That's it in its case. I've managed in my six hour challenge with time to spare. And I will show you the full results now. Like I'm addicted the moment I see you, my mood is lifted. Even the simple things make me smile. So come on over, stay for a while. Feel my embrace and never release. The feelings we have will never see. Hope that you feel the same way too. When you come over, this is what you do. Come on over, this is what we do. 
Right, and there it is finished. I've taken it back out the um, case so you can see it a bit better there. So let's start from the top. We've got a little owl there. We've got some bats upside down. Um, we've got um, a little bar there where he has his humanitarian um, trophies. Um, Penguin's already got into the uh, layer, and there's uh, Robin chasing him past, past where um, Batman loves to chill with his little rug. And in the corner here, we have his little layer where he checks out for robbers. He's actually reading the uh, daily blobber, robber, whatever it is, um, ma magazine to make sure there's no um, reported crimes. He's, he's, as Batman's egotistical, he's got loads of these little uh, trophies up. And then we go down to here where the waterfall is. Um, we've got some rats chasing, being chased by a mouse. We've got the actual Batmobile there, um, which does turn around if I spin around. So you can go back out. And this is for the kids to play around with. We have um, a lovely little tacky bink dingy, which I said, love to have a little one like that. I have done a proper one in the past, but I thought something would be a bit fun for the kids to have a look at. Can't always be serious. We've got Batman with his... Uh, hat scowls on um, and in the background we've got a little wardrobe with the actual Batmobile and um, Bat sign on the actual door that does light up in green I actually haven't put the batteries at the moment but I will do in a little while and there it is with the green lights in the actual um, changing room or his wardrobe so there we go um, and then there's the uh, Riddler being chased by Batman with a little rubber dingy thing around his waist. So there we go, that's a quick one. It took me five hours and 57 minutes to do this from start to finish. Don't know what you think of it. Yes, there is better builders out there and I can do better if I have longer. But as I said, these are six hour challenge builds because I've only got a certain amount of time to do this and then I'll be back on finishing with all these Pokeballs I'm making. So anyway, I hope you like this little um, video. On to the next one. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do more six hour builds. It might do um, when I get a chance. And there we go. There we go. That was my chatting, and that was the rest of my alarm saying my six hours is over. So it's time to say goodbye, and I'll see you in the next video. Oh.